Hey everyone, so I thought I'd make this little video about diet for dogs and in particular raw feeding. Um, the reason I wanted to make this is because last night we uploaded a photo of Darren and Philip's meals onto our Instagram story and we were inundated with questions about it. Um, there were lots of really, really good questions about why we feed our dogs raw food. Um, some of the questions were about the eggshell, a lot of the questions were about changing from um, kibble to raw food and also there were some funny questions about will it make my dog a bloodthirsty killer to eat raw food. Um, we also had questions about um, skin irritation issues and whether I think food is linked to that. So I just wanted to jump on and share my experience basically because I'm not sure if, you're, if any of you know. Um, we tried raw food as a last ditch effort to save Philly's skin because he was in a terrible way. Um, but I'll tell you his story in a moment. So firstly, I just wanna point out that the only thing that I'm qualified in is being a dog mum. <laughs> um, I'm not a nutritionist and I'm definitely not a vet. So I would encourage you to do a lot of your own research when it comes to this sort of stuff. This is just purely what's worked for us and I thought that if I can be helpful to a few people then that's reason enough to make the video. So please don't take my word for everything. Um, there are a lot more qualified people on this topic than me, but um, I just thought I'd share what's been working for us. Um, so firstly, I wanted to cover up a few of the myths that I used to believe um, that I no longer believe. And the biggest one is salmonella. Um, I used to think that raw chicken and raw, um, any raw meat, but raw chicken and raw eggs would give dogs salmonella. And the reason that it doesn't is because they have um, different acid in their stomachs to what we do and their stomach is incredibly acidic and it breaks down any bacteria really, really well and therefore they are unable to get salmonella from um, raw chicken. Um, so it won't make them sick to feed them raw meat. Um, we've been feeding ours raw meat for a couple of years now and they never get sick off it. Secondly, um, the biggest one I used to believe was does it make them bloodthirsty killers to have raw food? And that's what I literally was brought up to believe that um, raw meat makes them have a taste for blood and therefore they just want to kill stuff. Well, that's not true. <laughs> have a look at them, <laughs> not true. Um, and thirdly, I think the biggest thing I've taken away from this is that this diet is really what nature intended for dogs. If you think about a dog in the wild, it goes out and it chases its prey, it kills it, and it eats the entire thing, um, hair and everything. They certainly don't serve it up with rice and they don't get it from a packet. So it is what nature intended and it is what the dog thrives on. So, and we've really found that with our dogs since changing them over. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our story and how we sort of came to getting to this point. To be perfectly honest, when we have the dogs, like when we first got them, um, we would feed them Pell, um, we would feed them Chum, we would feed them Kibble, uh, Rawhide Bones. I don't know if you've seen those, uh, the video on those going around the internet, but it, they're very, very bad for your dog. Don't feed them Rawhide Bones. And if you are, please look up Rawhide Bones for dogs. It's very, very bad. Uh, that's a different topic. Um, so we would feed them all this stuff and on top of that they would get all of our leftovers they would get all these treats they would get everything we ate because I thought it was cute I thought them begging for food was really really cute so I used to just give them everything and we thought that that's what would make them love us um, you know I didn't think that but you know I just used to give them everything and Probably about six months into starting their Instagram, um, Philip started getting like a really bad rash. He had a rash all over his body. His body was so inflamed. It was bleeding in some points because it was that inflamed. Uh, he had scabs. He had really smelly lips. He had smelly toes. He was just in such a bad way. And so I did the thing you would normally do and I took him to the vet and they said okay look it's time to clean out the yard so that's the advice we got we got told to clean out the yard get rid of all the plants you know get rid of anything that could be causing the allergies and whilst that would help some dogs uh, it certainly didn't help Philip uh, he didn't get any better at all 
um, the vet then suggested that we should perhaps buy the hundred dollar bag kibble you know for sensitive dogs which didn't really help much either um, he would then suggest medication which I didn't want to do so I put it out there on our Facebook um, for help because at that point I was just like what else can I do and it was thanks to a lovely fan named Julie um, who's got a lot of experience in this field um, she messaged me and said Jen you need to take them off the kibble and the dog food and all your human scraps you need to get them onto raw food and coconut oil and so at that point I just thought okay I'll just do it I didn't know why I was doing it but I just did it um, and probably within two weeks Philip's entire demeanor uh, had changed his skin was all coming to a normal sort of look again he wasn't scratching nowhere near as much and the longer we kept on the raw food the better he got um, at that point I was still letting him have like a bit of tea and toast and a bit of this and a bit of that and then Julie said look Jen you've got to just cut it out just take out all the treats which was a very sad day for Philip um, but we did we eliminated everything from his diet and um, my mum who was living with us at the time just sneaked Darren a few little backhanders um, but yeah so Philly got um, no treats treats um, and he has been amazing ever since uh, he's changed he's a different dog he's super muscly now his skin's shiny everything's really really wonderful so that's I feel really passionate about raw food because it literally took my dog from being an absolute wreck to a thriving dog that he is now um, so what I want to do is just take you through what type of food we feed them uh, how often we feed them why we feed them certain kinds of raw meat and why we don't feed them other types of raw meat and just show you sort of what they eat for dinner so I'll do that now um, I hope you're enjoying this so far and please if you think of any questions along the way please fire them at me and also if you think of anything that you'd like to share with me uh, I would love to hear it as well so we'll go and show you what they're eating so what I'm going to do now is just show you a range of the foods that they eat and then I'll explain why they have it and why they don't have some of the other raw foods um, so yeah I'll explain that now so the first thing is we have been feeding a lot of turkey mince. It's human grade. Um, the dogs love this. It's super, super lean. Um, and then we feed them chicken necks and also wing tips. They also get chicken frames and chicken drumsticks and things like that, but that's all we've got in the house at the moment. They then get eggs. They get a, a raw egg probably every two days um two to three days they do eat the shell as well and i'll explain why in a little bit these are chicken hearts they get them probably every second meal they we always try and sort of throw some vegetables in there um just because i think if veggies are good for humans they're good for dogs as well and then this is the treat they get banana <laughs> Because they love it um, and they I don't think it's all that bad they do get a lot of blueberries and strawberries as well and they're really really good for dogs they're high in antioxidants and things like that they then get chia seeds because it's a really good source of omega-3 so they get them sprinkled on their dinner and then Philip because he suffers with arthritis he has turmeric and coconut oil powder now um, turmeric has been proven to be incredibly anti-inflammatory to dogs so even if they don't have um, arthritis we started giving it to Darren as well and um, it can be really 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 good for their overall health and um, the coconut oil we give them pretty much a teaspoon every meal uh, it's really really good for their coat and we usually try and go with an um, organic one but yeah we found pretty early on that red meat still didn't do very well with Philip and he was still very, very itchy. That's not the case for a lot of dogs that I follow that live on a raw meat diet. But if you try raw and the dog's still not reacting very well, you could try eliminating the red meat and that might help. It certainly helped for Philip, but again, I'm not a nutritionist. I just know what's worked for us 
and we got that really good information from the lady who runs Stafford Rescue Victoria. Um, she doesn't feed any of their dogs red meat for that reason and so that really helped us. But once again, there's a lot of dogs that do eat red meat and they're fine, so. So Philly has been hanging around because you can smell what's cooking. <laughs> well, it's not cooking, but it's being prepared. I want this, 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 I want all of it. Hey, hey, oh. <laughs> so now we're gonna make a meal for the dogs and they're gonna love it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put what they would usually have on a nightly basis in here. We usually only feed the dogs one big meal um, every night, but in the mornings they'll probably get a little bit of banana or a teaspoon of peanut butter or um, some coconut oil or uh, a few chicken necks because you know I don't wanna eat breakfast and then they're just looking at me like, give that to me. So I give them a little bit of, you know, their food. Um, but generally they just have the one big meal at night, but they don't get any of our breakfast, even though they watch us eat it. <laughs> so I always start the meals with um, some turkey mince or chicken mince or um, diced up chicken leg or diced up chicken breast or turkey breast or whatever. Um, but usually around 250 grams of each. The serving portions that I use, I have, I don't know what's good for your dog, but I just feed them what I think is right. Um, so there's that. And then they usually get a couple of chicken necks each. They'll usually get a few little wing tips in there. They'll get an egg each. So a lot of you asked about the egg. Um, it's the egg, the reason I feed it to them with the shell is because the shell's full of calcium. There's a little like membrane thing on the inside of the shell and it's really, 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 really good for dogs. They can eat the shell. Um, a lot of people think, oh, the shell is a bit, or well, raw eggs. They don't get salmonella because of the bacteria in their gut. They don't get salmonella from any raw food either, by the way. Um, but yeah, I feed it to them with the shell on. Sometimes I feed it to Darren Hole because he's really cute with it and he like picks it up really gently. But yeah, I usually just crack it so they can sort of lick out of it. But yeah, that little that little white bit on the inside of the shell, that's really, really good for, for dogs. So that's why I give them that. A couple of little chicken hearts, a few bits of broccoli. Now they don't eat this unless it's covered in something. So <laughs> That's why I cover it in fish juice. They get the chia seeds, so just a few sort of sprinkled on. And they get a couple of blueberries. Usually I'll give the blueberries to them in the morning, but going in their dinner today. And then this turmeric powder. And then some fish juice over the broccoli. That's like a mum trick. Makes them eat it. And then I just give them a, a half a tin of sardines each. There's not much sodium in these ones and they are um, only in spring water. Um, I know you can't get fresh fish, but we just get this. And then a tiny bit of coconut oil. This is the dog only jar, because it's got all gross stuff in it. And and this is their dinner. So it's a pretty good balanced meal full of lots of different elements that I have come to the conclusion is the best for our dogs. Now I'll just... Okay, you ready boys? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now I don't even know 5% of what 
an expert in this field would know, um, but I do know it's helped us a lot. Um, something else that I wanted to bring your attention to was Dr. Karen Becker. I think I've binge watched pretty much all of her videos and she's amazing. She doesn't believe in turning to medicine straight away. She doesn't believe in medicating dogs and she doesn't believe in uh, store-bought kibble. Um, her, in her words, store-bought kibble is like feeding a dog McDonald's every day. Um, so if you do, if you are interested in the topic, give uh, Dr. Karen Becker a search on YouTube and there are some really, really great videos. Um, in particular, there's one about um, stinky feet and itchy skin on dogs and I learned that it's because of carbohydrates. Um, so if you're having that issue, you may want to look up that video. Uh, I'll try and find the link and I'll post it in the comments. Um, but it's really, really interesting. And also there's a um, documentary called Pet Food as well, which is very eye-opening. So um, that's what we've learned and this is what we do every single day. Uh, and I hope that some of what we do has been helpful to you. And yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and we'll try and answer as much as we can. So also, I just want to point out that obviously our dogs have, you know, the Instagram that they do and part of our humor is to sort of um, personify them as, you know, human type dogs and that's just sort of what our humor is based on and that obviously involves food a lot of the time as props. So um, because of that, like I'm weak anyway, I do let in a few treats here and there, but uh, it's probably only about 5%. But in those videos, nine times out of 10, they don't get to eat the food that they're videoed sitting next to. It's only if they have a, a bite of ice cream or a lick of something, but they don't sit there and scoff the whole pizza or have six donuts. Um, I know that most of you would know that already, but I just would hate to think that um, someone's out there going, look, the blue boys eat donuts, so that's the optimal diet for dogs, so we're just gonna feed our dogs donuts. So yeah, they don't get that. They probably do get 5% um, just because I can't handle the puppy dog eyes sometimes. But most of the time it is raw food.